All right, let's uh, talk about ice cream. It is Friday before the holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. The sun is shining and spring is in the air. And you know what that means? Time for ice cream. Delicious. For some, March 20th marked the start of two seasons, spring and ice cream season Fantastic. over at the ice cream barn in Swansea. They not only welcomed back customers, but former scoopers as well. The celebration was sweet, so we stopped by to check out some of their locally made flavors. Who doesn't love ice cream, right? So good, so fresh. The dairy right from the cows, you know, 200 yards that way, uh, makes all the difference. Like this classic Rhode Island flavor. So this is our coffee milk ice cream, a Rhode Island favorite. It's made using autocrat coffee syrup, a little bit of coffee grounds, and it's sweeter than a normal coffee. Our cookie dough ice cream is a little different from other places because the base of this ice cream itself is a cookie base. So we actually bake cookies in the stove. We food process them in a food processor, and then we put those food processed cookies right into the base of our ice cream. We then add the cookie dough pieces and the chocolate chips into it. So it is an all around delicious cookie dough experience. That's why the base of this ice cream looks like it has little specks in it instead of just a vanilla base, because it is actually a cookie base. Though their top seller is vanilla, a staple, their more unique flavors pack a punch, like Kahlua Brownie, Apple Crisp, fresh mint or cranberry jubilee. It's local cranberries, we boil them down on the stove, separate the juice from the berries, put the juice right into the base, so it's kind of like a light pink cranberry base. Add back in the cranberry pieces, shaved almonds and dark chocolate chunks, it's so good. <laughs> this is party nut praline and it's got five types of nuts. It's got cashews, pecans, almonds, walnuts and peanuts and we praline it in a local honey and we put it in a sweet cream base of ice cream. It's one of my favorite flavors. We only have it during the spring, but it's all about like just the nuts in the honey and the local honey and just that flavor is amazing. Ice cream is really like kind of a science. It's more like baking where if you change one ingredient, it changes the entire texture and formula of the ice cream. So it's really formulaic based. It, some flavors we've gotten on like the first or second try and some flavors have literally taken us years of tweaking those flavors over time to get the right texture, flavor profile we're looking for. This is our lemon blueberry frozen yogurt. The lemon is super, super tart and the berries are really sweet so they really complement each other super nicely. It's a fresh, crisp flavor. It's great for the summertime. This is our four berry vanilla yogurt. It's a vanilla base and it's got blueberries, strawberries, blackberries and raspberries that we boil down on the stove and swirl through the base. We wanted to create the best ice cream possible. We wanted people to love it and they do and so at this point 10 years later it's like this is awesome. Thanks for coming to the ice cream barn. Bye. See you next time. Got to tell you that ice cream looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. And she kept coming up to me and like giving you know the little tiny yeah the small things for the samples yeah she's like oh now try this one now try this one it I looks, can't I couldn't pick a favorite <laughs> it looks so good being in that waffle that waffle oh, bowl waffle holy bowl. moly it looked good it's like double the treats take a bite and then take a bite of the bowl wow just make sure you do it appropriately Ooh. that way they're not stuck with a handful it's of ice so cream so good <laughs> and a reminder that many local shops have opened their doors for this season.